Hello and welcome to another Motion Industries how-to video. My name is Tom Clark, I am your host, and on today's how-to, we're gonna show you how to use an FAG hydraulic nut to mount a bearing. And helping us out is our good buddy, Jim Azzalina. He is with Scheffler. Welcome back. And Jim, I think today's appearance gives you the record amount of times that anybody has ever been on this show. So what do we got going on here today, Jim? What we have here is an FAG hydraulic nut, which is a device that is used to drive up parts with a tapered bore onto their tapered seats. Think of a hydraulic nut as a type of press, which you would mainly use if the drive of forces required to mount the bearing cannot be generated, or if it would be too difficult to accomplish this task using hand tools such as spanner wrenches or pressure screws. You know, that's cool because it really grinds my gears when I cannot find a tool that makes my life easier. You agree? I'm with you there, Tom. The right tool makes any job easier. So an FAG hydraulic nut basically consists of a press ring mm -hmm. and a piston with two seals inside. A fitting is then mounted here, which allows you to inject the hydraulic fluid, which of course creates a compressive force using an FAG hydraulic pump. Okay, so let's put all this together. We're gonna to put it on. Explain to me how it works so we can get that bearing mounted properly. First of all, you wanna note that the hydraulic nut is threaded. Mm -hmm. This means that it can be with a threaded tapered adapter or it can be mounted directly on a shaft that is already threaded. Installation is basically just a matter of installing the nut onto the shaft or adapter sleeve. Next, you need to attach the hydraulic fitting that is supplied with your hydraulic pump. Then you simply connect the hydraulic pump line with the quick and easy disconnect mechanism. Now you're ready to start hand pumping. You know you have reached the desired position by simply measuring the radial internal clearance of the bearing, and as you are pumping, you want to make sure that you go just a little at a time and then rotate the nut every so often so you don't overextend your piston and blow the seal. Now we've done that in previous videos because clearance is so important. It can't be too tight, can't be too loose. It's got to be just right, right? That's right, Tom. And, and it does come in a variety of sizes. For metric threads, FAG hydraulic nuts are available in sizes ranging from as small as 50 millimeters to as large as 1,180 millimeters. Wow. If your application requires inch threads, FAG hydraulic nuts range from about three and a half inches to approximately 21 inches. Now, is there anything to keep in mind while we're working with this hydraulic nut? Glad you brought that up, Tom. Safety is always our number one concern. Keep in mind that whenever you are using hydraulics, this means that there are extremely large pressures involved. Even though you can't see the pressure at work and the tool is not making any noise, it is good to understand that these forces are still there. So whenever I use a hydraulic nut, I always keep a safe distance and stand clear of the hose, just in case it should break free. I've never seen this happen, but just in case. You know, on the safe side, we wanna make sure that we wear the proper PPE, and uh, that's what Jim is talking about there. Always be safe, whatever the job calls for. PPE, even if you're working with grape jelly, but in this case, it's hydraulic fluid. But Jim, thanks so much. Good thanks information for once again. Thank you. Jim Azalina, he is with Scheffler, and we were talking about the FAG hydraulic nut and how to mount a bearing properly. If you have any questions about anything you saw here today, you can always contact your nearest Motion Industries branch location, and they'll be sure to help you out. And then when you're done with that, go to our website, mihowto.com, and you can check out a whole slew of videos with me, Tom Clark, as your host. Thanks so much for watching.